In mathematics, specifically in group theory, the concept of a semi-direct product is a generalization of a direct product. There are two closely related concepts of semi-direct product, and the inner semi-direct product is a particular way in which a group can be constructed from two subgroups, one of which is a normal subgroup, while an outer semi-direct product is a Cartesian product as a set, but with a particular multiplication operation. As with direct products, there is a natural equivalence between inner and outer semi-direct products and both are commonly referred to simply as semi-direct products. For finite groups, the shores asenhaus theorem provides a sufficient condition for the existence of a decomposition as a semi-direct product. Some equivalent definitions of inner semi-direct products. Let G be a group with identity element E, a subgroup H and a normal subgroup N. With this premise, the following statements are equivalent. G equals NH and NH equals E. Every element of G can be written in a unique way as a product NH, with NN and HH. Every element of G can be written in a unique way as a product HN, with HH and NN. The natural embedding HG, composed with the natural projection GG, N, yields an isomorphism between H and the quotient group G, N. There exists a homomorphism GH that is the identity on H and whose kernel is N. If one of these statements hold, we say that G is a semi-direct product of N and H. Written or that G splits over N, one also says that G is a semi-direct product of H acting on N, or even a semi-direct product of H and N. To avoid ambiguity, it is advisable to specify which of the two subgroups is normal. Outer semi-direct products. Let G be a semi-direct products of the normal subgroup N and the subgroup H. Let AUT denote the group of all automorphisms of N. The map phi, H A U T defined by phi equals phi H where phi H equals H N H minus 1 for all H in H and N in N is a group homomorphism. Together N, H and phi determine G up to isomorphism, as we show now. Given any two groups N and H and a group homomorphism, H A U T, we can construct a new group called the semi-direct products of N and H with respect to phi defined as follows. As a set, is the Cartesian product n times h. Multiplication of elements in is determined by the homomorphism. The operation is defined by for n1, n2 in n and h1, h2 in h. This defines a group in which the identity element is and the inverse of the element is h minus 1. Pairs form a normal subgroup isomorphic to N, while pairs form a subgroup isomorphic to H. The full group is a semi-direct product of those two subgroups in the sense given earlier. Conversely, suppose that we are given a group G with a normal subgroup N and a subgroup H, such that every element G of G may be written uniquely in the form G equals NH where N lies in N and H lies in H. Let phi, H A U T be the homomorphism given by phi equals phi H where for all N N, H H, then G is isomorphic to the semi-direct product. The isomorphism sends the product N H to the tuple. In G, we have which shows that the above map is indeed an isomorphism and also explains the definition of the multiplication rule in the direct product is a special case of the semi-direct product. To see this, let phi be the trivial homomorphism, i.e., sending every element of H to the identity automorphism of N, then is the direct product. A version of the splitting lemma for groups states that a group G is isomorphic to a semi-direct product of the two groups N and H if and only if there exists a short exact sequence and a group homomorphism gamma. Hg such that alpha gamma equals idh the identity map on h. In this case, phi h a u t is given by phi equals phi h where examples. The dihedral group D2n with 2n elements is isomorphic to a semi-direct product of the cyclic group Cn and C2. 
Here, the non-identity element of C2 acts on Cn by inverting elements. This is an automorphism since Cn is abelian. The presentation for this group is, more generally, a semi-direct product of any two cyclic groups with generator and with generator is given by a single relation with an coat prime, i.e., the presentation. If and a coat prime is a generator of an, hence the presentation gives a group isomorphic to the previous one. The fundamental group of the Klein bottle can be presented in the form and is therefore a semi-direct product of the group of integers with the corresponding homomorphism is given by the Euclidean group of all rigid motions of the plane and f for all x and y in R2 is isomorphic to a semi-direct product of the abelian group R2 and the group O of orthogonal 2 times 2 matrices. Applying a translation and then a rotation or reflection has the same effect as applying the rotation or reflection first and then a translation by the rotated or reflected translation vector. This shows that the group of translations is a normal subgroup of the Euclidean group, that the Euclidean group is a semi-direct product of the translation group and O, and that the corresponding homomorphism is given by matrix multiplication. The orthogonal group O of all orthogonal real n times n matrices is isomorphic to a semi-direct products of the groups O and C2. If we represent C2 as the multiplicative group of matrices I, R, where R is a reflection of n-dimensional space which keeps the origin fixed, then phi C2 AUT is given by phi equals HN H minus 1 for all H in C2 and N in SO. In the non-trivial case this means that phi is conjugation of operations by the reflection. The group of semilinear transformations on a vector space V over a field, often denoted, is isomorphic to a semi-direct products of the linear group and the automorphism group of properties. As a consequence of Lagrange's theorem, if G is the semi-direct products of the normal subgroup N and the subgroup H, and both N and H are finite, then the order of G equals the product of the orders of N and H. Relation to direct products Suppose G is a semi-direct product of the normal subgroup N and the subgroup H. If H is also normal in G, or equivalently, if there exists a homomorphism Gn which is the identity on N, then G is the direct product of N and H. The direct product of two groups N and H can be thought of as the semi-direct products of N and H with respect to phi equals I D N for all H in H. Note that in a direct product, the order of the factors is not important, since n times h is isomorphic to h times n. This is not the case for semi-direct products, as the two factors play different roles. Furthermore, the result of a semi-direct product by means of a non-trivial homomorphism is never an abelian group, even if the factor groups are abelian. Non-uniqueness of semi-direct products is opposed to the case with the direct product. A semi-direct product of two groups is not, in general, unique if G and G are two groups which both contain isomorphic copies of N as a normal subgroup and H as a subgroup and both are a semi-direct product of N and H, then it does not follow that G and G are isomorphic because the semi-direct product also depends on the choice of an action of H on N. For example, there are four non-isomorphic groups of order 16 that are semi-direct product of C8 and C2. C8 is necessarily a normal subgroup in this case because it has index 2 in a group of order 16. One of these four semi-direct products is the direct product while the other three are non-abelian groups. The dihedral group of order 16. The quasi-dihedral group of order 16. The Iwasawa group of order 16. For comparative Cayley diagrams of these see example 3 in. If a given group is a semi-direct product, then there is no guarantee that this decomposition is unique. For example, there is a group of order 24 that can be expressed as semi-direct product in the following ways. 
D8C3C2Q12C2D12D6V. Existence in general, there's no known characterization for the existence of semi-direct products in groups. However, some sufficient conditions are known, which guarantee existence in certain cases. For finite groups, the shores asenhaus theorem guarantees existence of a semi-direct products when the order of the normal subgroup is co-prime to the order of the quotient group. For example, the shores asenhaus theorem implies the existence of a semi-direct product among groups of order 6. There are two such products one of which is a direct product, and the other a dihedral group. In contrast, the shores asenhaus theorem does not say anything about groups of order 4 or groups of order 8, for instance. When are they distinct? Generalizations. The construction of semi-direct products can be pushed much further. The Zappa SZDP products of groups is a generalization which, in its internal version, does not assume that either subgroup is normal. There is also a construction in ring theory, the cross product of rings. This is seen naturally as soon as one constructs a group ring for a semi-direct product of groups. There is also the semi-direct sum of Lie algebras, given a group action on a topological space. There is a corresponding cross product which will in general be non-commutative even if the group is abelian. This kind of ring can play the role of the space of orbits of the group action. In cases where that space cannot be approached by conventional topological techniques, for example in the work of Alan Connors, there are also far-reaching generalizations in category theory. They show how to construct fibered categories from indexed categories. This is an abstract form of the outer semi-direct product construction. Groupoids Another generalization is for groupoids. This occurs in topology because if a group acts on a space it also acts on the fundamental groupoid of the space. The semi-direct product is then relevant to finding the fundamental groupoid of the orbit space. For full details see Chapter 11 of the book referenced below, and also some details in semi-direct product in NCAT lab. Abelian categories Non-trivial semi-direct products do not arise in abelian categories, such as the category of modules. In this case, the splitting lemma shows that every semi-direct product is a direct product. Thus the existence of semi-direct products reflects a failure of the category to be abelian. Notation. Usually the semi-direct products of a group H acting on a group N is denoted by OR. However, some sources may use this symbol with the opposite meaning. In case the action should be made explicit, one also writes. One way of thinking about the symbol is as a combination of the symbol for normal subgroup. Unicode lists four variants. Here the Unicode description of the R times symbol says, write normal factor, in contrast to its usual meaning in mathematical practice. In latex, the commands R times and times produce the corresponding characters.